Now let's take a look at what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2025 with sheet metal, weldments and structure systems. In this demo you'll see how SOLIDWORKS 2025 helps you save time by quickly copying cut list properties to many items, helps you streamline your downstream manufacturing processes with bend notches, gives you greater flexibility in your tab and slot workflows, and allows you to use multiple length edge flanges without having to edit the flange profile. You can now create a new type of weld bead in SOLIDWORKS 2025 called a groove bead between two solid bodies. Sheet metal performance has dramatically improved for parts with large amounts of items and so have cut list updates. So let's take a look. Our goal with this part is to finalize some details before submitting to the team for review. First, we're going to edit the cut list. Let's take a look at this sheet metal part. We want to add a new cut list item called process. And in this case, the sheet metal items will be cut on a water jet. In SOLIDWORKS 2025, you can now copy this one cut list item property to all cut list items. The old method of manually creating these properties would have taken a long time. However, some of these are not going to be on the water jet. They'll need to be cut on the bandsaw. We can simply change the property once and copy it to the specified items. Confirming to overwrite the existing data, we can see that those items have been copied properly. Let's zoom in on the sheet metal part and flatten it. Now's a great time to talk about how SOLIDWORKS 2025 improves fold, unfold and flatten performance for parts with a large amount of sheet metal bodies or many cuts within bends. SOLIDWORKS 2025 introduces bend notches. Bend notches are going to allow you to streamline your downstream manufacturing processes by adding physical marks on your sheet metal bodies. This makes it easy for the operator to line up those marks in the press brake. Several options are available for triangular, circular, rectangular and of course the ability to adjust the size as needed. Tab and slot workflows have also been improved. There is now an option for equal offset when we're using equal spacing. This allows you to offset the pattern from the extents of your selected edge. The right hand side should be different to make orientation obvious. New in SOLIDWORKS 2025 is the center align option which places the tabs symmetrically along the selected edge. 2025 also introduces the ability to skip instances for tab and slot. So let's flatten that again so we can see the result. The final operation for this sheet metal body is to add edge flanges to close it off. In the previous versions of SOLIDWORKS, creating edge flanges of equal length was possible in the same operation, but if you wanted different lengths you would have to edit the flange profile. SOLIDWORKS 2025 streamlines this workflow, simply check multi-length flange and adjust the lengths as necessary. I'll change the default radius here to something more appropriate. SOLIDWORKS 2025 also gives you the option to automatically fully define the lengths of the edge flange sketch, saving time, especially for teams that have a directive to fully define all sketches. Our part has several welds in place, but there is one area we haven't completed. We want to create a weld that fills this gap between the chamfered edge and the plate. SOLIDWORKS 2025 introduces groove bead to accurately represent these weld types. You can even define a weld symbol on the fly. A single weld is not sufficient, so let's use the mirror feature. Since these are bodies, they are extremely easy to mirror. In 2022, SOLIDWORKS introduced the option to use multiple planes or faces when mirroring as well as the handy Q key shortcut to expose reference geometry for easy selection. Let's discuss some of the great enhancements in 2025 that we couldn't quite show in this demonstration. For complex weldment profiles, we now have the ability to allow protrusion during planar body trim. There are several enhancements to structure systems, improved creation of structure systems as well as improved corner treatment UI. We can mirror a patterned structure system or pattern a mirrored structure system and you can also trim members with connection elements as shown here. There's so much more to go over, but this is all we have time for today. 
so definitely check out the What's New documentation for more information on what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2025 with sheet metal, weldments and structure systems.